My next guest, well, she grew up on screen, didn't she? Part of the cast of Neighbours. From there, Natalie Imbruglia, she swapped soaps for pop stardom. One of the biggest songs of the 90s, an absolute cracker. Loads of others as well. Natalie, you look exactly the same <laughs> in every one of those videos. It's like, what's happening? It's astonishing. You look so well, and it's, it's lovely to have you back making music. Thank you. It's so nice to see you. I mean, that's been, well, it's been a long time. It has, yeah. I know. What was I, all that about? Why did you wait so long? What was going on? I actually quit music. Did you just... Yeah, I lost my confidence. I got dropped by a record label, and I just thought, you know, the universe is telling me not to be doing this. Right. So, so instead, what did you do? What... Um, I actually went to Australia. I did X Factor as a judge. I went to LA. I studied acting there for a couple of years. And I found my way back to it. But it's funny, when I got back to it, it was with a whole new, I guess, zest for it. And so I've just had a great time. I had about five years of writer's block, and then since then it's been in flow. That must be the scariest thing, writer's mm. block. Yeah, Whether you're a, a musician, an artist, a writer, whatever it may be, because the thing that you love to do, you just simply, it's very difficult for, for those that have not gone through it to understand, I would think. But it was just like you just couldn't physically do it anymore. Well, I didn't even think that was a real thing until yeah. it happened to me. And I had a writing session booked with Roddy Hart, actually. And he came to my, my place in Notting Hill and I couldn't write. He set the keyboard up and everything. And I was like, should we go get coffee? And I kept oh. making excuses to try and avoid it. So anyway, I, I, I stuck at it. I ended up in Nashville and I did a 10 day stint. And it's discipline. You know, mm. you have to show up and you have to be willing to have those days that are difficult. And... Sure, and, and try somehow to, to push through it. Yeah. But you've been so creative. I mean, massively creative. You've got a little one. <laughs> <laughs> That's about the most creative thing you can do is have yeah. a baby. Um, and that was just before lockdown, of course. So My finest achievement. Your finest achievement. Yeah. You've got a wee one, you've got your wee son. And then, do, do you think that having him somehow sort of sparked things off as well? Did you find that you were more creative as a, as a writer? I do. It's yeah. almost like, you know, I yearned for that for so long. Yeah. So when that was in place, I realised that maybe the writer's block as well, I think maybe it was a distraction in a way. And so when that was in place, my creativity just flowed. And, you know, children sprinkle joy over everything they, in your life. Absolutely, so. they do. I mean, you get no sleep. But that's okay. Hello. <laughs> you get no sleep at all, but it's absolutely fine. So there you've got the wee one, and there you are working away on, on the album. So during the whole lockdown time, I guess it, it was, I wouldn't say it was okay for you, but it was a time that you might look back on and think, actually, I got a lot done. I actually feel guilty saying it. Yeah, but for I a new mum, I think being able to be at home for another sure. year and work through lockdown and... And my, my co-producers, Tim and Roy, shout out to my riot. Um, they were like, right, you're going to download this piece of equipment, this software, we're going to do it from your house. And <laughs> I'm so not technical. So, so did you do the whole thing from home? Yeah. Wow. So we had my, my computer, my laptop, and they were showing me how to plug everything in. <laughs> and I made a vocal booth in my barn and, and I recorded everything there. And we had a really calm, focused recording session and... I'm just so proud of this it's album. Great. I made a vocal booth in my barn should be the title of your <laughs> autobiography because I don't think anybody's ever used that title. So I think you'd be fine. <laughs> I think you'd be absolutely fine. I love the fact that he brought it out in vinyl. Um, yeah. I've, I've actually just, um, I got as a present, my husband got me a, a turntable so I can mm. play all my vinyl again. And it's There's nothing brilliant. quite like it, is there? And also for you, I mean, it's, you, you know, I know it's, it's all about the artwork as well. It's I'm much... so into this. This was an amazing guy called Simon Proctor who who I reached out to on DM. I just love social media, how you can just you can do that and directly just connect contact people. people. And he said exactly. yes, and I just think it's really magical. So fantastic. <laughs> oh, it's brilliant. It really is. And it's like it's all come at the right time. Yeah. You know, sometimes I guess when you must have thought when you know you couldn't write or you, you sort of lost your confidence. And do you know what's so funny, isn't it? Because from the outside looking in, you, we always think that everyone who's in the public eye is having a great time. Exactly. And it's all fine, it's all lovely. Yeah. And you know, somebody as beautiful and talented as you, you would think, oh, well, that's fine. But no, you've still got these no, insecurities. It was, a, it was a real struggle. Yeah. But what's great is that for anyone out there who is having a creative block, I think it is a discipline and just, you know, encourage people to keep showing up for yourself because that's what I yeah, did yeah. and I'm having the best time. It's now. interesting what you say about this album. It's finding strength in your fragility. Exactly. Right, so that, that it's okay sometimes to feel a bit fragile because actually you'll get strength from that when you overcome it. 
Well, I think sometimes when you just let, let it fall apart, yeah. and it'll be over quicker, in a way. <laughs> <laughs> and then you'll be back stronger and, and better than ever. It is so lovely to talk to you. It Me really too. is. I mean, we've obviously grown up with your beautiful songs, and um, yeah, it's, I mean, it was. It must have been so overwhelming when you were, you know, when you were so young and to have all of that. And it was a lot. You've triumphed. You've triumphed. You I have. think I think you know age and wisdom. Um, you handle these things a lot better. So I'm yeah. having I'm having more fun. Enjoy enjoy everything. Enjoy being a mum. Thank it's you. It's an amazing thing, <laughs> especially when they're wee. It's just lovely. And um, great to see you. You too. Great to see you, my love. Thank, Thank you. you. And Natalie's new album is called Firebird, and it is out right now. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of The Rain on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations, and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.